Hello, and welcome to the expected maintenance section for the SJ Series Salt Chlorine Generator System. This guide will help summarize the typical care and maintenance that you might expect as an owner of a saltwater pool system. This can be summed up as 1. Regular water chemistry checks, including salinity and free chlorine. 2. Adjusting the system's output setting. 3. Cell cleaning. and 4. Winterization. Number 1. Regular water chemistry checks. As with any pool, water chemistry levels need to be checked regularly. The only unique requirement for a pool with a chlorine generator is the level of salt or salinity to be maintained in the water. The SJ series will not be operational outside of its specified salinity range. The specific salt range for the SJ is listed in your manual. Once the proper salinity level is achieved after installation, you will only need to add additional salt on occasion. A good rule to follow is to check your water chemistry after heavy use or bad weather. The most common causes of lowered salinity is due to added rainwater or replenishing water after water levels are reduced due to splashing, backwashing, or draining. Maintaining a proper salinity level helps ensure that your system is able to continue treating your pool without periods of downtime. When the pool's salinity gets low, your system will also typically illuminate the salt warning light. When this occurs, it's important to also verify the salinity independently before adding salt to make sure that you add the correct amount of salt back to the pool. In addition to checking for salinity, every pool needs to maintain a proper free chlorine level. This should typically remain between one to three parts per million for proper sanitization. This is achieved by setting your system's chlorine output to match your pool's unique needs. Number two, making adjustments to the SJ output setting. At this point, you will already have followed the instructions in the SJ installation manual to find the unique chlorine output setting that meets your pool's chlorine demand. Since a salt chlorine generator works at a set rate every day in tandem with your circulation system, your free chlorine levels will typically become predictable and remain more consistent. However, since your pool's free chlorine level is critical to allowing it to remain clean, safe, and swimmable, it is recommended to still check your water chemistry regularly. As a rule of thumb, begin by testing your water frequently. As you get experience with how quickly or slowly your pool's water chemistry changes, you can decide to check it less often. You should expect to need to make seasonal changes to your salt chlorine generator output level and possibly pump run time as seasonal usage and temperature changes affect chlorine demand. Number three, cleaning the salt cell. The SJ will eventually stop producing chlorine due to natural mineral scaling and needs to be cleaned. A check cell warning light will be illuminated on the system indicating that the cell needs to be checked or cleaned. Before cleaning the cell, check the salinity of the pool. Low salinity levels and even air bubbles passing through the cell can cause this light to illuminate. If your salinity is in range, power cycle the SJ. Afterwards, if the check cell indicator light illuminates red again within a few minutes, the cell needs to be cleaned. When cleaning the cell, always follow the cleaning instructions in the SJ manual. After cleaning, inspect the cell plates closely with a bright light. If mineral buildup is severe, more than one cleaning cycle may be necessary. If you see any debris, use a water hose or air compressor to blow it out. The frequency of cleaning depends on your water chemistry. For most people, cleaning is only necessary a handful of times per season. More rapid mineral buildup is a sure sign of a chronically high saturation index. Number 4. Winterization During winter months, very little chlorine is necessary at low temperatures. If your water temperature drops into the mid-60s, your chlorine generator may reduce or stop its chlorination in order to extend the lifespan of the cell. In climates that require you to close your pool for the winter, you can continue to follow all standard procedures for your local area in order to protect your system from damage caused by frozen water. Optional winter bypass caps are available for purchase, 
which allows you to close off your pool plumbing after removing your salt chlorinator system. The electrolytic cell will be damaged by freezing water, just as your pool plumbing would. In areas which experience severe or extended periods of freezing temperatures, be sure to protect your pool equipment and plumbing. This may include draining all water from the pump, filter, supply, and return lines before any freezing conditions occur. When opening the pool after a period of inactivity, do not power on and use the chlorine generator until the pool's water chemistry has been balanced and brought to ideal levels. Salt must be added if water has been drained over the winter. This concludes the expected maintenance section for the SJ Series Salt Chlorine Generator. Thank you for choosing CircuPool Advanced Pool Systems.